I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com. This motorsports report is brought to you by Cat Protective Eyewear. 20 styles under $15. Click on the banner at the top of the site and get a few pair. Cat, engineered to the core. In Sprint Cup racing, it's rare when drivers get a second shot at a good solid team, but Eric Almirola isn't an average driver. Almirola was one of the first to get bitten by an imploding economy, but he did what true competitors always do. He kept fighting. He had to claw around in the Nationwide Series after losing his part-time ride at Earnhardt Ganassi Motorsports. He didn't give up, and he drove for JR Motorsports for part of 2010 and full-time in 2011, finishing fourth in the points. Richard Petty Motorsports announced that they have signed him to drive the famed number 43 for the 2012 season. It's his shot, and we hope he does well for the King. The name Fittipaldi is almost always associated with Formula One, but not this Fittipaldi. Pietro Fittipaldi, the grandson of Emerson, recently took the track title at Hickory Motor Speedway in the Unlimited Division at 14 years of age. Fittipaldi raced carts until late in 2010 when he tried a stock car. That was it. He was full-time in 2011, and he won both the title and Rookie of the Year. He's got some time to marinate, but keep your eyes on this Miami native. Finally, IndyCar named their new race director, Bo Barfield. Bo Barfield was formerly the race director for the American Le Mans Series and a former driver. That should complete the team that IndyCar has going forward into 2012, and now we have to wait until St. Petersburg to see how it all stacks up. For Cat Protective Eyewear and Motorsports Unplugged, I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you next time.